sorry I'm gonna start this one more time sorry okay. about this okay so here at the Chelsea Flower Show we are in the garden that is reflecting Mallorca and with me we have the two garden specialists who have brought this specially to London please could you introduce yourself for Mallorca visitors yes so we represent Mallorca garden design we uh, live and work in Mallorca and do projects in Mallorca Johanna Norlin and I'm Tanya Wilson and how long have you been living in Mallorca I've been in Mallorca since about three and a half years now. And you have this passion to bring Mallorca gardening to Chelsea Flower Show, which is a huge feat. Yes. So could you tell me how you're representing Mallorca in this beautiful garden? Yes, so we have the three layers of the landscape that were, was the inspiration for the design. So we have the uh, turquoise pool here, with the stone texture, which is done with the sea cliffs, of limestone sea cliffs in Mallorca. And then the planters, we chose a special color for the planters, which represent the terra rosa soil of Mallorca. And what about the planting and the colors of the plants that you've been using? It's all Mediterranean planting, so drop tolerance. So we work a lot with different color, well, colors and textures of the plants. And the specimen trees you can see here, they are uh, Arbutus and Dracroides, so very special with this red peeling bulb. Um, very pleased to see you sitting. Um, and then we have three endemic plants from Mallorca, so the prostrate rosemary, the Camarops humilis, which is a native plant of Mallorca, and then the Arbutus trees. They're absolutely glorious. And these are all drought resistant, so yes. anyone can put them in their garden and they don't need so much watering. And what about the colours? Are the colours in any way making you think of Mallorca, resembling Mallorca in any way? Or? Yes, definitely. Like the greys and the greens um, are certainly uh, typical colours of drought tolerant plants and also the fuzzier texture. Um, the then, silver fluid. Yeah, and then we brought in the grass, which is Carex testacea prairie fire, to pick up the kind of um, coral color of the plant first. And also the desert mallow is also to pick up the color of the plant Certainly the bees like it, so obviously they're good for bees. And what else we, did you have in mind when you actually built this garden? What was it you were trying to create? We wanted to create a really kind of serene setting. Um, and the reason that we chose a curved design was to mimic kind of the tranquil waves of the sea. So we wanted to keep it simple but yet refined. And yeah, they're very simple lines and, and very dignified, elegant lines. I can see that. And um, tell me, when you're in Mallorca, do you have any special things that you like to do or anything you would recommend people to go to do when they're in Mallorca? Uh, as to, to visit Mallorca, you mean? Or? Yes, yes, when they visit. Oh, yeah, I think, you know, the best part, the best season to go to Mallorca is, I will say, is in the winter. You know, less people, less crowded, and uh, stay at the sun and uh, be out in nature and just enjoy, you know, the fantastic landscape that we have in Mallorca. It is stunning. Best, best part of my and where do you both live? We live in Palma. In the centre of Palma. Yeah. Yes, outside Palma. It is a delightful place to live, and you live all the year round. But you're not actually originally. Where are you? You're well, origi I'm originally from Sweden. So I'm Swedish. Oh. Tommy is from the US. So oh. American. An unusual collaboration. It is. Yes, it is. Yeah. And did you meet in Palma? Yes. That is is lovely. And what have you had? The sort of people who've come to look at it. What sort of reaction have you had to the garden? liked it. I mean, I think it's uh, it's very it's different. different. It's a bit different because it's all, you know, artisan. We work with the, with the textures, the colours, uh, the stonework. So it's uh, it's a little artistic. On artistic and I think a little more on the contemporary side, but it has kind of this wild kind of rustic nature to it. You couldn't have a better position. I mean, this position, you're right by the press tent. Yes. We are and this way. is the very best... The, uh, 
Yeah, absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for speaking to the Mallorca Daily today. And the, well, we're actually now the Mallorca Bulletin rather than Daily. And I will see you probably in Mallorca. But meanwhile, thank you for your time. And I wish you success and I hope wishing you a good medal on this one. Here's, here's wishing you. Thank you again. Bye bye.